Okay, today we will uh, make the Zetomax digital thermometer into a Ethernet temperature monitor. Um, I added these two two wires to the TX and the RX from last time, and then I added this uh, export uh, Lantronix export module, which is uh, hooks up to the channel one serial port using an export dongle. Now um, we will use a device installer. Bring up a device installer. Let me see. Uh, Lantronix device installer. So we bring this uh, device installer up, and then uh, we find this. It's this one uh, because the MAC address matches. Um, make sure the baud rate is set to. Uh, 1150 200 by going to web configuration. Um, yes, it's set to 1150 200. Okay, then we're ready. Um, load up your uh, the new QBlock program you can download. Okay, and then there's a debug terminal. And then load up the uh, ZetoMax temperature monitor.exe. Um, there's also Visual Basic opens. Uh, source code that you could you could custom customize so double click on here and then uh, enter the IP address of your export mine it says uh, mine it says uh, it's uh, 192.168.0.2 and that's what it's set at so click connect oop I have firewall enable it connect it right now uh, start monitoring temp. All right, we got monitoring here and monitoring here, same way. Then let me put some ice again. Oop, my ice is almost gone here. So I put some ice on there. Okay, I see it dropping, dropping. Then I should see it dropping, dropping. All right, we have Ethernet temperature monitoring in about. Uh, a minute or two, not too bad.